Hello everyone, this is Damien. This is going to be episode number, I believe, three of um, Intermediate Java. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, number handling, uh, sort of number conversion, uh, data handling, and try-catch. And all those things sort of play into each other. So we're going to get started by sort of detailing out the problem like I have done in the past. So. Here's uh, the, the question in mind. Say we have a string that contains mostly numbers. You want those numbers in an array. Now, here comes the fun part. Let's say that we need to take them, the numbers out, and leave the rest of the array as null. Now, if it's null, it's easy for us to just kind of go, oh, well, you know, we can disregard that, or we can easily just uh, trim the array down to being the size that we want it. Now, before anyone says it in their head, yes, there are libraries to do this. This is a theory-only lesson. So we'll start off by... Uh, making our class and then making our main ah. just in case anyone was wondering um, the string args there can be done either way with the uh, the array characters right next to string or args it really means the same thing um, because you can declare an array both ways. Um, a lot of people prefer it this way because it's an array of strings which are arguments. So that's what I've run into most in, in my professional career. So okay, um, let's first declare an, uh, declare an array of string. So we'll do string my strings equals new um, do new string. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just do it like this, and just do like one comma, and then just sort of copy paste it across, and then I'll do one that throws it off, like ABC. I'll do, you know, just to make it a little more confusing, in case somebody had a, a way where they just parsed out ABC or you know wanted to do. Uh, string dot trim none of those will work because I did that so I do that um, let's change these numbers around a little bit do like a six hundred twelve I don't know uh, let's do like thirteen fifteen seventeen three hundred and one fifty okay so yeah anyways we're just making a whole bunch of other stuff here. So, okay. Now, I know what everyone's thinking. Well, if I'm not going to be using any kind of a library, then this is going to throw an error. Um, if I just use a simple wrapper class, and yes, you're actually very correct, it will throw an error. And try-catch is how we handle that error. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make an array of, we can either do integers, uh, and by that I mean integer, or int. Now, the way that we handle it would be slightly different if it was int, because int couldn't handle a null. So I'll go with integer. Just know that you can use int for the exact same process here. Uh, it'll just be a zero rather than a null in most compilers if you initialize the array. So we'll do integer my numbers equals new integer and I could count the the things here I suppose I will okay so there's 15 of them so we can do 15 um, oh right didn't yeah didn't do that so I prefer to have my uh, my arrays being finite um, 
you run into issues if you don't sort of reserve the memory when you get into larger arrays. So, all right. So at this point, we're going to use a method. Um, in typical programming, you're always going to want anything to be a method. And this is actually going to use recursion. Um, oh, did I not mention that? Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to pass in um, the array. So let's do um, extract numbers will be the name of our function. And we'll pass in my strings, my numbers, and then two, uh, we can do three zeros if we really want. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have time to get that all in. This might be a two-parter. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a two-part video. Um, at 15 minutes a whack, I'm not going to have time to do this. So, okay. Uh, we passed in three zeros there. You'll see why in a moment. So, what we're going to do here is... Hmm... Actually, let's do this. We'll do int um, array fit equals. And we'll actually have it... Mm, no, that's not going to work, right, is it? Yeah, actually it will. Okay. So we'll do public static. Uh, and this is going to return an int. And we'll name it extract numbers. All right, now we need to make it take in a string called my array, or my strings, rather. Uh, we need it to take in an array of integers. And we'll name that my numbers. And then we're going to have it take in three ints. Um, we'll call it uh, let's do string counter int number counter and then int false. So once we get that set, what we're going to do is we're going to return false. Um, so now it's pretty happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a try catch here because when we hit this, it's going to throw what's called a number format exception. It's uh, one of the more basic types of exceptions. So a try catch is formatted something like this. Um, we end up with a, I typically do my catches in one line, so let's do like that. So we end up with a block of code in which we're trying something. If errors are thrown, they're caught by the catch. Uh, we can also do what's called a multi-catch or uh, where we have multiple catches, or we can do a generic catch where we type in exception E, and that will catch any exception for the most part, but it, it won't give us as robust handling. So we're going to do number format exception. Wow, I actually typed that close to right. E, and we'll just do an E dot print stack trace. Uh, in between our brackets here. So I do the brackets on the same line. Um, I try to keep my catches very low profile. Um, some people hate it that way, so just be aware of that. So what we're going to do up here is we're going to try to set up a for loop, and we're going to do for and just a colon because we don't want to initialize any variables here. So we're going to do for colon. Um, let's do... I want to say it's going to be string counter is less than strings dot length uh, string counter plus plus uh, not strings dot length my strings dot length okay so in here what we're going to do is we're going to look at the current uh, position of the array. How am I doing on time? 10 minutes. I actually might make it through this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take um, the current sort of index of the array based on how many times we are through that loop. So we're going to say um, 
my nope we're going to do my no ah come on my numbers of and this is going to be number counter equals my strings string counter uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do integer dot parsint and then the argument is going to be the my strings of string counter there we go Whew. that's a uh, parse int okay so what this is going to do is this is going to try to set the current index of number counter equal to the current index of string counter. Now each time through this loop it's going to uh, try this. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a, uh, a number counter plus plus right here and then we're going to have it so if it fails right here on the uh, exception it's actually going to pass back into itself so meaning if it fails we're going to want to make the string go to the next one and then pass back in so the way we're going to do that is by calling extract numbers and we're going to pass in the same exact arguments so what we're going to do is we're going to do false plus plus and we're going to do uh, actually I can do that in the thing can I so what we're going to do is just like this we're going to go my strings my numbers string counter and that's going to be plus plus because we want to increment that before we send it uh, to show that this string that it tried parsing is not working so we're skipping it um, then we're going to send number counter and we're going to send faults um, again as plus plus faults to show that we've had one fault okay so if we give this a run I'm not exactly sure if this is going to work first time through um, um, oh crap I should have put that in a four equals zero i is less than extract no my numbers dot length i plus plus then we're going to come down here and indent that and we're going to do my numbers of i and a lot of people hate when you use a simple for loop like this to output stuff, but it's honestly just the easiest way. So we'll save that, run it. Uh, it's going to complain that we have a number, of, oh, we have an array index out of bounds exception. So we're actually going to stop this video here and pick up right there with the part two of this. Um, we'll talk about why we have an array out of bounds exception, what that is, and what we need to do to fix that. I hope you guys will join me again, and I'll talk to you in just a moment. Bye-bye.